Stop scrolling. It's time for another real or fake video. And today we have turquoise. I get so many requests about turquoise. So we're gonna take a close look at this ring, at the stone. So if you would, go ahead and take your guess, put it in the comments below, and then we're gonna examine this together. As always, we're gonna begin inside the ring with the setting to see if there are any stamps and markings in there. And as we look in here, I'm not seeing any, and it doesn't look very silvery in here. I'll check it with the magnet now. It's not attracting, so that's a good sign, but it could still be brass. I'm not getting much of a reading at all on the electronic gold tester here. So I think it's probably a fake setting. Now it's time to test the turquoise in the refractometer. Now you'll notice that this is a cabochon cut, so it's rounded, which means it's really hard to get a reading in here. We have to do something called a spot reading. And with the spot reading, we're getting about a 1.55. It's kind of halfway on that bubble. Turquoise should have about a 1.61 spot reading. So this is already starting to look a lot like plastic. Now in the microscope, I can see right away, the stone has been glued to its setting and that's a huge red flag. Next, I'm going to examine the matrix. And this is basically the remnants of the host rock where this was found. On natural polished turquoise, the matrix is going to be recessed as the host rock is much softer than the turquoise and gets polished away during the polishing process. And you can check this really easily under magnification using reflected light like this, or an even easier test is just to run your fingernail across the matrix and feeling if it's recessed or not. This is super smooth, so we definitely have a piece of plastic here that's pretending to be turquoise. And if you're in a destructive mood, you can always heat up a needle and touch it to the base of the stone. If it's plastic, it's going to melt and stink and natural turquoise will have no reaction. So did you get this one right? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want to develop the skills to do this yourself, message me the word lesson. I'll send you a free lesson from my online course. Thanks for watching.